the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake I pray for you from this day anyone that fights you goes down instantly I say it again anyone that fights you whether in secret or in open goes down instantly in the name of Jesus the Lord will give you access to nations access to territories I say it again access to nations and Samuel told Saul he said is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance I pray for you in the name of Jesus the grace that allows you to be a custodian of the mysteries of the kingdom a custodian of the possibilities of God in the name of Jesus may that grace rest on you for those of you in ministry in the name of Jesus fire upon your altar you will do ministry with integrity in the name of Jesus you will not fail in ministry I forbid you from failing in ministry those in business go and excel you will do what has not been done before I say it again you will do what has not been done before by the power of the Holy Spirit anyone waiting for your downfall will wait forever because as for you the Lord stands by you like a mighty terrible one in the name of Jesus Numbers chapter 1 and verse 5 let this be a prophetic word for you the man God has raised to stand by you the man God has raised to support you financially to support you spiritually keep that scripture there in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you anywhere they are these are the names of the men that shall stand with you may God raise them to stand with you you will never stand alone may God raise men to stand with you strategic destiny help us you will call and the Lord will answer you will call and men will answer in the name of Jesus now hear me anyone here who came from a background of failure you saw those before you fail whether in ministry whether in life and there are covenants and ordinances connected to you by the blood of the eternal covenant I speak to someone from this day I severe you from that foundation I severe you from that foundation I declare longevity in ministry longevity of impact the staying power until the end in the name of Jesus you will never be found where God is not I say it again you will never be deceived to go where God is not in the name of Jesus every counsel of Ahitophel I decree and declare your ears will not hear it the ears of your helpers will not hear it I say it again your ears will not hear it the counsel of Ahitophel your helpers will not hear it anyone coming by the way of Demas may they be far from you anyone coming in the spirit of Sambalat and Tobias to stop you from building I declare they depart from your life anyone coming in the spirit of Judas may they be far from you in the name of Jesus Christ oh your place of mentorship will be like that listen I prophesy to someone by the power of the Holy Spirit you will have a place like the house of Tyrannus you will raise others you will raise mighty men you will raise others you will raise mighty men you will raise others mightier than you in the name of Jesus for anyone here who is saying time is gone I've lost certain things in the name of Jesus on account of this impartation let there be restoration let there be restoration 10 years in one year one year in one month in the name of Jesus two more prayers for you I want to pray over your finances believe it all lack of finances can keep you at the corridors of compromise especially if you're in ministry I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ may God raise help for you financial help in ministry help that stabilizes your integrity in the name of Jesus
any ministerial association, any business association, any political association, any leadership association that will corrupt you from the purity of your work with God, leading you into practices that are not of God, destroying the purity of your oil. I pray, may your feet not go there. Shout it again, may your feet not go there. Whether in ministry, whether in business, your, those people will not find you. They will not find your children. In the name of Jesus. The spirits that cut short the impact of men. Just when they are about to blow some, something happens and they go down. I pray for you, minus you. Minus your children. Minus your business. Minus your family. Your influence will remain. You will last till the very end. Only going higher and higher. Only going higher and higher. Only going higher and higher. In the name of Jesus. Your hands will not be empty. Let me speak favor upon your life. This mystery that has helped men to become has helped men to gain acceleration in life. Let this grace called favor rest on you. Let it rest upon you upon your ministry upon your organization upon your family i forbid you from begging i forbid you from borrowing i forbid you from begging i forbid you from borrowing in the name of jesus that many decades after now with christ tarries you will still be standing you will not be a negative lesson for others to learn from my God will preserve you in the name of Jesus. You will see signs and wonders in your life. Now listen to this one and receive it with all your heart. Can I tell you, if you do not rise to a position of influence, you will never be able to do much for the kingdom. Don't, don't mind ignorant people. You need influence as a vital tool for kingdom advance. The Bible says, neither do men light a lamp. There are many people who have a lot of value, but their influence is small. The Bible says, and it was noised abroad that Jesus was in town. I pray for you, by the help of God we have received, I decree and declare that hear ye him anointing, let it rest on you from this day. I release it from the depth of my spirit, that hear ye him anointing, receive it in the name of Jesus. God will raise men who will herald your value. God will raise men who will herald your value in the name of Jesus. The Bible says for your shame, you shall receive double. It's called honor. It's not just restoration. Listen, I have taught you what honor is. Honor is the grace that makes people perceive your value accurately and then reward that value to match your sacrifice. If you do not have honor, you will always be serving the wrong audience. They will not have a recognition for what you carry, nor an appreciation for it. I pray for you. You will not serve the wrong audience. You will not serve the wrong audience. God will position men who can discern and reward your sacrifice in the spirit. And for everyone who has come to celebrate with these ones, I decree and declare, as God has done it for them, may he do it for you. Do it for your ministries. Do it for your businesses. Do it for whatever it is you are involved with. In the name of Jesus. By this impartation, because you are witnesses of the same, let shame and reproach be far from you. Shame and reproach be far from your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, by the privilege of the apostleship and the power vested upon me by His Majesty, Jesus Himself, the head of the church, I declare the Koinonia School of Ministry, Abuja said 2024 vessels, we declare you graduates right now in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap and celebrate with them. Congratulations. Congratulations in the name of Jesus Christ. As we come to the end of this powerful summer, may the truth we have received ignite a fire within us to walk in greater dimensions of faith and intimacy with God. Let us carry this revelation 
into our daily lives, shining as light in a world that needs the love and the truth of Christ. Thank you for joining us today. Subscribe to Heavenly Chants for more life-changing messages and spiritual growth. May God's blessings be upon you until we meet again.